WVU's incumbent starter at the spear position on defense was the victim of a stabbing. Let's talk about it. What's going on Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with the Country Roads webcast. And before I get into this video, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder, if you would, do us a favor here at the Country Roads webcast. Hit that subscribe button. Helps us. It helps you. It helps us Mountaineer football content get out to more Mountaineer Nation. With that being said, let's get into it. So over the weekend, the news came out that a West Virginia football player had been the victim of a stabbing outside of a bar in Morgantown called The Bank. Now early this week, that player has been identified, and it is St. McLeod who served as West Virginia's starter at the spear position most recently in the bowl game after the loss of Scotty Young. Not only was McLeod the starter in the bowl game, but he was also the presumed incumbent starter at that position heading into 2022 as well and was even mentioned as so in Neil Brown's most recent press conference. This leaves a hole at the spear position for West Virginia for one. For two, you hope that McLeod's recovering and said that he is recovering, but regardless, he's going to be out for some time now. So for the spring, that position is pretty much open for someone to step in. Neil Brown named, named Muhammad as the backup, a former walk-on at this in, in the spring, but those are the only two players that he named at the position. So you've got to think someone else will have to slide over there now as well. And this also may open a door for a player that comes in in the summer going into fall camp like Jacoby Spells to get on the field fast. Maybe they slide him into that spear position, see how he can do, and he can get on the field fast as a true freshman like a guy formerly like Tyke Smith did as a true freshman at that spear position as well when West Virginia needed someone there. So I wouldn't rule that out if St. McLeod it can't come back in time. With that being said, first of all, you got to wish St. McLeod uh, well. Hopefully he recovers fully from this. He's got a lot of potential. He was a young guy, a true freshman last year. I believe he's only 20 years old. So hopefully he recovers from this. Terrible incident. I hate to hear news like this. And just looking down at for West Virginia, you're looking at Nate Muhammad at Spear. Um, we'll see what else they do there for the spring. And then going into the fall, hopefully McLeod will be able to recover and come back for the season during at some point, even if it's not forward fall camp. But you've got some other guys coming in, Mumu Ben Waha, Jacoby Spells, you know, that they may try at that spear position. But we'll have to see how it plays out. But for now, um, thoughts and prayers go out to St. McLeod, hopefully for a full recovery. And we'll see how it affects West Virginia moving forward at the spear position on defense. If you want to leave any well wishes for McLeod, go ahead and drop them in the comments there. And one more time, if you would, for us here at the CRW, hit that subscribe button so we can get more of this Mountaineer football content out through Mountaineer Nation. That being said, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz. And until next time, let's go Mountaineers. I don't want to see a fail.